doing an escape from Planet Houston. Guys, I have been trapped in Planet Houston and have tried to make this escape more than once. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have yet to get as far as my previous couple of attempts, to, or at least a couple of my attempts to escape from Planet Houston. So, guys, um, this has been kind of a uh, really bad experience for me. It's been harrowing. It's been exceedingly expensive trying to get out of this place. Uh, I am driving a rental car, and it is packed to the gills, and I will talk to you about bug out traveling here because bug out traveling is part of what we're really, we're a, we are a prepping channel here, and so we're going to talk about bug out travel amongst other things. So you can see all that stuff back there, that's all stuff that I've got, I'm carrying. <laughs> I am seriously packed in here. Yeah, I've got all the bug out supplies I need. There's a tent. There is a, a bug out bag. There is food. There is water. There's water purification uh, and sanitation devices with me here. I have knives, including uh, uh, one from my, my good friend uh, Rodney uh, Middleton in here. I've got, uh, and I am. Um, you know what to the teeth so uh, I have plenty of nugs and if you're new to my channel and don't know what that is just flip that word around because we have to use some code words here sometimes but you're not supposed to talk about the you know, subject of some things in your videos and if for those that understand a nug I have lots and lots and lots of kibbles to feed them <laughs> of course that also makes for a problem should I get stranded or have a breakdown like before. I got to stay with the vehicle. I've got to find some way to get that stuff transferred. I can't just, you know, block the vehicle and go off. So you know, that gives you extra responsibility when you're doing heavy duty bug out travel. That's what I'm doing here, guys. It is heavy duty bug out travel. But then again, I've got everything that I could really get out of my van that I've been living in. For months on end out in the desert of Arizona. Um, I may have to abandon that van. It's unknown yet as to what's going to happen in that regard. I'm like, well, I just lose my GPS stuff here. Not that I really need it. There we go. All right, so <laughs> I am in a rental car. It's a Toyota RAV4. Pardon my finger for being in the way, guys, but I am drive here. Fortunately, I waited till I got on a straightaway where I wasn't going to have to be turning for about 69 miles on I-10. And so I am looking at bayous right now, guys. Look at the bayous. If y'all can see that down in there. I don't think I've got... I'm not sure I got... I don't think I've got as far as I got previously. So, eyes on the road. Yeah, I'm keeping my eyes on the road pretty much. So, for that reason, I'm not going to be reading a lot of the comments if I see a super chat. You know, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just silly thing gets unplugged. And my, when I move the camera around, it don't like uh, stay with the uh, GPS stuff on the maps. But I don't need it. I'm following I-10 for a long term way. I'll do I-12 and then I-15. Nine and then I 20, I uh, 65, and on my way home. I know how to get home from here. I know the way home. That's a good thing. What's we'll again? You know, I 45 inside of Houston was packed. It was a thick, heavy, heavy traffic. So, yeah, more bayous around here, guys. More bayous. A lot of tugboats and stuff like that. I should be coming into Baytown, I think. Yep, I've almost made it to where I was, where I stopped last time with the transmission. The brand new redone transmission died on me in my uh, bug out van. Hope my bug out van don't get a, have to be put to bed. Good, it's a possibility. I can't afford major fixes on it, guys. So I'm seeing exits here from Baytown. I made it a little bit farther than this, but not much last time. So I've yet to get as far as I did last time. I'm still within the outer, uh, like the 99. I just crossed over uh, the 
a toll road, which was uh, eight of the George Bush toll road, and I am heading toward uh, 99 is the outer loop, the outer outer loop. So I'm seeing. Uh, so yeah, I had a. As y'all might know, I was trying this Friday, a week ago. Yeah, guys, a week ago I was trying to make this escape same day. Spent a bunch of money, had a lot of delays, and had added on expenses to try to fix a transmission. I was spending more than I was going to would have spent on that vehicle in the first place. Way they jacked me up, and then. Um, that was deceptive the way they pulled all that. That's another story. And here I am, uh, almost to the point where I, uh, it died on me then. I think at this point I might have been having some issues with it. I already was. So I was hunting a place to pull over. I'd already put in the coordinates a little bit prior to that for a park store. Found the park store and pulled off, and I just barely rolled into the parking lot. She blew a hose. Hey, we got a super chat. Hey, Jason. Salute to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, I uh, get money for the escape. Yeah, need that, guys. So, I've been spending a lot of money in Houston. It's taken me a lot of money to stay there. I've had to stay in a hotel, and this rental car has been very expensive. So, I'm going to turn this thing in tomorrow, and hopefully I can get some of these expenses put to bed, because I can't afford to wait around in town. Oh, yeah, there's all the refineries down in Maytown. Holy smokes, they got a lot of refineries way down there. This town's got a lot of oil refineries. Anyway, so I'm getting close to where I didn't make it past yesterday. I don't know if I'll be able to see and recognize that point. There's a good chance of it. Uh, last Friday. And then what happened was we replaced the, uh, it blew out the coolant hose, hose, the coolant hose for the transmission fluid to the radiator. You know, there's, there's a coolant loop in the radiator just for transmission fluid these newer transmissions. Well, not newer. They didn't have it in my old Ford, C4. But the water in, in the transmission fluid, they don't get so two different loops. But anyway, guys, so what happened was it blew that out. It, it was an overpressurization. I put in a new hose and only got, well, maybe it's a hose that fell. I only got four miles and I couldn't roll. I was stranded in a meeting. I was trying to get off the road and get to somewhere uh, safe. And I got stranded in the median, and they left me there all day long. That was a uh, Saturday morning. I called these guys, and oh yeah, we're on it, we're on it, we're getting your tow truck. The tow truck operator told me that they didn't even call them at 4 p.m. So I was somewhat less than the absolutely happy as you might imagine. But anyway, so guys, I am uh, got two places where I tried to get out from. So it was a, a, a two-stage attempted escape last week and I think uh, yes I am coming up to about the point where I made that first independent express it's not it yet I'm getting close to where my first uh, escape attempt failed <laughs> maybe I'm going to pass that so there's yeah right in this area I'm around I'm in the area of Baytown this is where I had my, my failure to escape. <laughs> I think it's just a little past where I'm at right now. USB connection isn't stable. Oh, it's not like this thing. Anyway, yeah. So, let's see how far I'm making it, guys. We'll talk more about the bug out here in a second. So, uh, yeah, I can't really read all the comments, guys. I gotta be careful. I gotta keep my own road here. But, check them later <laughs> in any event guys so when you travel right now all the stuff that's going on in the world do absolutely consider taking some kind of bug equipment with you take uh, some extra water a little extra food I got a ton of extra food on here I got a lot of these uh, especially this uh, beef jerky guys if, 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 if the, it hit the fan and I couldn't get gasoline and couldn't, I got about 291 miles worth of gasoline left. That'd get me almost halfway home. If uh, it hits the fan 
and suddenly there's no more gasoline available, I'm halfway home almost. So, what I do for the other half, I don't know, but I got, you know, I got stuff to backpack with, I got stuff to go bang bang with, more than I'd really want to carry, actually. <laughs> I've got um, water purification, I've got food, although this vehicle is, unlike my vans, this vehicle is not suitable for camping out in, living in, but I have a tent. I got a little two-man tent, little backpackers type two-man tent. It's a lightweight two-man tent that I couldn't sleep in if I had to. So I am bug out travel equipped. And you may want to throw a bug out bag in your vehicle just even for driving around town. Or a get home bag or something like that, guys, just a get home bag. Water purification, a little something clothes, some socks. I ain't even want to go that far. Something to make fire with. Maybe something for Because, you know, even driving around town, if you had to walk home, you know, you would, most people, if you're young, you can walk 20 miles, not too much trouble. But some of us would have a lot of trouble with that. <laughs> I mean, it's just a few minutes. But suddenly, if watch a little, just a little jump in a car, if you're on hoof, is a major uh, travel, uh, travel actually for some of us. So, yeah, I think I got just past this because I see those big refineries. To... So this is about the point I to when it went kaput. So, I made it, I haven't made it yet to my kaput point. So let's see if we can place the kaput point. <laughs> the kaput point. Should be coming up. If I can make it past that, I'm gonna be a happy camper. With all these refineries all around here, guys. Everywhere. This is oil country. This is oil country. Texas. Texas T. Alrighty. 797. Is that the exit I took? Is that the first exit I took? Chambers. Yeah, the county was still beta. Essentially. Yes, 146. That this is where I, I took the exit, right over here. And let's see if I can turn around. Turn around. Yeah, back down in there. That's where I was at. First time. It's as far as I made it. Almost past the point where I got stranded last time. It was just down there. Yep, right there. Then we got it repaired on the road again the next morning. Had a, a mobile mechanic. Same one that's supposed to have been fixing my transmission. He came to me early in the morning, got me on the road. But the problem was, I think it's a valve body issue. I probably made it up here to about the next exit, or one. I think one passed it. So I think this one, yeah, this is 90. We're coming up on 99. This is the last really outer loop of Planet Houston. So I really haven't escaped Planet Houston yet. <laughs> you can see that little bridge up there. That's 99. So I'm still within the outer orbits of Planet Houston. I and mean, it's not, you know, Planet Houston per se, but it's the outer orbits. You know, this is uh, outer moons. Maybe I get past the Kuiper Belt here in a little bit. <laughs> Or into the Kuiper Belt of Houston. But I gotta get away. Gotta get away. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're working on it. Uh oh, I'm gonna merge. Traffic's not too bad. Slow down, slow down. Ding, 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 ding. So. Yeah, we got this. So. Um, Give me for not reading the comments, guys. I really can't and drive. I will be probably three o'clock in the morning getting home. And then I got to unpack some stuff. I'm gonna be going. I may not be in bed till daybreak. And so that would only be a nap. That's my we get anyway. All right, there's the outer orbit of Houston, right there. That is. Uh, that's the Highway 99. Highway 99. It's kind of like an outer beltway for Houston, guys. Whoa! Have we escaped Planet Houston? Almost. Because right up here is where I got grounded 
the last time. So, you know, uh, that Saturday morning where I got stranded all day long. All day long was uh, Farm Road, uh, I think 3180, I believe was the na name of that road. So I'm already puttering again. I said, what, I just got this thing fixed. I'm puttering again. I'm gonna do a video on this on my uh, Product Papa's channel, guys. I've been recording a bunch of video. Yeah, buddy. So here I'm puttering and puttering. Exit 800. Yes, that is it. 3180, exit 800. All I did is I man barely managed to get off the highway and it went to put to me in the median. So we're on the verge of having passed the point that I couldn't pass last time. I have not been able to since uh, before Christmas to get beyond this distance from Houston. And now we're on the verge of it happening. Yeah, I was right out there in that meeting, just beyond that concrete. At the end of that concrete, boom, right there. That's where I was at. That's that part, uh, part of the storage place there. That is where I was stranded in a median, in the middle of the highway, all day long, from 10 in the morning till sunset. The record didn't get there until the sun was actually set. Believe that, guys. So, yeehaw, I have escaped past the point where I was at last time. Now we can call it progress. <laughs> but still got a long way to go. It's gonna take a while to get there. I'm eastbound, but I'm not on a bandit run. <laughs> I'm just trying to get home. Yeah, my original plans was to get into Houston, see the family, and leave the day after Christmas. Yeah, I plan to be back in Alabama for a couple weeks by now almost. So, this has been uh, testy for me. Uh, expensive. The repair on the uh, transmission was got awful expensive and it didn't work. I supposedly had a warranty, but I got chicken out this company. You know, they cut my, somebody cut my catalytic converter, which was in a lot in this company. And cut it off completely, cut one of three pipes. Apparently they got spooked. But I'm reading reviews, that's happened, you know, that's happened to a lot of people's vehicles there. A lot of people call the police on these people. There are, uh, the vehicles aren't secure. It's an open lot, open to the public, with the riffraff going in and out all day long. Yeah, it's not a good place to leave a vehicle at all. So, and uh, I don't think they care. You know, they, they they tell you, they told me originally, oh yeah, we, we work weekends, we work uh, uh, holidays, especially holidays, because there's breakdowns, we get you out the door, we'll get you out the door fast. You know, so, you know it's just on and on. I, I'll do a whole video on that, guys, uh, on my product, Papa's channel. And if it don't get go viral over and get a fuse, I might, Double post it over here. I'm planning to just put a link on this channel to it because I'm going to give me a chance to grow a product of Papa's. And I've got a lot of stuff to talk about with Pride Papa's too. Oh, beautiful Bay Area. Old and lost river. Don't look lost to me. It's a big river. But anyway, guys, so. Turn this thing around if we can. Video button. There we go. Try to turn the video around and look what it did. It's flipped on me. Guys, reeds, marshes, all kind of stuff around here. If you like marshes, if you like swamps, this will be your heaven. If you like seabirds, might be a lot of shrimp there. Somebody's fishing out there, some family. It's beautiful in a way here. Really flat. I'm not a big person for flat land, but it's got its beauty. It is beautiful. Now we're heading toward Weenie. Weenie. <laughs> I'm heading to Weenie. Weenie, I guess, Texas. So in the Beaumont, we'll be somewhere or another into Louisiana. So yeah, this area looks a lot like Louisiana down here. It's just bayous and swamps. Holy guac and smoking holy all around me. Swamps, rivers, bayous, alligators. Here. I would imagine. I don't know one thing I've seen. We go to the Kennedy Space Center. I've seen the biggest alligators in my life on this one. Kennedy Space Center. Lots of them. 
big old alligators. Anyway, guys, so bug out. Making progress. Bug out, guys. Seriously, everything going on today in the world. Please carry bug out provisions with you. Please be ready for the worst. The crazy things out look how flat this is. The hill in this over there is probably the trees. There's a river down here. That's a river. Maybe there's a little hill in this. We're on a high bridge here. It makes things seem hilly. It's pretty flat. A lot of, a lot of bayous. And swampy areas all around here. If you like to fish, this might be a paradise for fishermen. Birds. What all's in those waters? I'm sure, the fish will love it. Anyway, it might be hard to navigate if you were trying to camp out in this stuff. A lot of swampiness. Get up on the roads and see the house on the stilts. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to cross that I-10 bridge at some point. I don't like that because well, what happens if you break down? It's miles and miles and miles. You're on the bridge. <laughs> so, well, you don't want to break down there. But anyway, well, I'm in a rental car. This thing ought to be able to get me home. If it don't, I can, ought to be able to call them. And if that don't work, I should be able to call AAA. But, you know, the rental car company should take care of them. Unless, unless we have an EMP event to grip down with everything going on in the world right now, we could have a silver flare. We could have a, 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 a war. We could be a grip down for EMP events. It does, guys. It does. Let's hope and pray that don't happen. And I could use some hoping and praying that I get home safe tonight because it's going to be in the wee hours I'm going to get home. I'll be lucky to, if I can get home before 3 in the morning. And I don't just go home and go into bed. For one, my pillow is packed in here, the one I sleep on. Uh, and I'm not going to leave my nugs in this vehicle okay, and go in the house and sleep. No, they go with me. I got some unpacking to do computer stuff, tools, things I'm not going to leave in the vehicle. So, uh, it might be daybreak before I get to bed. I don't know if I'm going to sleep in an hour or two if that's true. Well, we shall see. I still wanted to do a video on the border stuff, but I needed to get out. I had to get out. I just didn't have enough time this morning to put together trying to pack up everything in my room. So I did that went to uh, my daughter's, got everything out of the garage, I stored in the garage, and I finished grabbing what was left in the van. And here I am, heading, heading toward the house. It's gonna be a long, long drive. And if I see something or find out something, I might come back and do another live sometime tonight, that's possible. But, you know, just to reiterate, guys, even when I do short trips, and look, I, I almost always got a nug in my pocket. <laughs> almost always, a nug or two. You know, a, a water filter don't take up much room. You need water more than you need anything. Uh, I got a heavy duty sleeping bag back here. I got bedroll stuff about the yin yang. That sleeping bag is really too much for South Texas and Alabama. <laughs> it's, a, it's a heavy one, it's a little bit bigger than I'd want to go backpacking. Uh, my backpacking one is still back in Arizona. All right, we got some traffic mergers set up ahead. So my friends, I don't have a lot of point going much further than talking. Uh, so you got the, uh, yeah. So guys, just uh, just bear in mind, I'm having, I can't really be reading the post. I gotta pay attention to this traffic up here. Got a right lane closure thing ahead of us. Rolling trucks with signs. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, rolling trucks with signs saying move over. Why a work convoy? Is it all portable? What's going on? I mean, these trucks are moving along pretty quick. It's odd. Work convoy. I think that's the whole work convoy. It's the front of it. Well, they met everybody over and they're not even stopping. That's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, friends, the world today is going nuts. 
little friends. Turtle Bayou, Turtle Bayou. That's a funny one. That's a funny one. In fact, there are some turtles there. The world today is going nuts fast. Fast. You need to constantly be in a bug out mode now. You've got to be constantly vigilant, constantly ready. Throw, you know, throw a little extra food, even if it's just a bag of jerky, some water, something in, in your vehicle. It's something to get you home, to get you over the next horizon, even for a little short trips. If you're taking a long trip, you have a, take a serious bug out bag with you. That's a little bit beyond get home. Well, I got plenty of stuff here with me, enough to cover me. And when I do take long trips, I always have, year, I have for years had a bug out bag might recall I did a video several years ago from Snowflake, uh, Snowflake, Arizona back in 2019 showing you my travel bug out bag. Yes, 2019 from Snowflake. That was Thanksgiving weekend and it was snowing. <laughs> and the wind was blowing. Thanksgiving weekend 2019 Snowflake, Arizona. That's before I bought my property. Stan was really good so, just keep it in mind, guys. I've been on this horse enough. Yeah, I see the prayer hand. I can definitely use some prayers. I'll thank y'all for that. Thank you. Jason and Avers, thank you for the super chat. Salute to you. Uh, thank you, Mods. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I have at least escaped Planet Houston. Remember the movie Escape from L.A., Escape from New York? Well, this is my version of it. I've been trying to escape from Planet Houston for days for over a week actually longer than that I just had a botched transmission job and I, was, I got some options I'm weighing but I don't know what I'm going to get for that vehicle this, but I just can't sit around in Houston over the week I did to do nothing paying for hotels and rental car I can't do it I can't afford it and I'm a man hey I got a super thank you uh, you don't know me mom Thank you. You don't know me, Mom. Salute to you. I'm my most appreciative. Thank you immensely. Oh, hang on. Let me turn it back around. Yes. <laughs> Didn't see my salute. I realized I was showing the highway. Yeah, I went looking at the screen. There we go. Salute to you. You don't know me, Mom. Thank you very much, you and Jason Neighbors. You both of you. Appreciate your support here. Lord knows it's going to take a lot of pennies to pay for all this gas and car rental and uh, the hotel bill. Hotel bill was to the moon. Yeah, this has been the most expensive trip I've ever made in my life. Holy smoke, guys. I'm only 63 year old. I'm nearly 64. But this has been a very pricey trip for me. It wasn't even a, didn't even get to go to Europe or anything grand like that. But I did see my grandkids. <laughs> I saw my grandkids. Anyway, I don't get to see them enough. The ones down in Planet Houston. No, it ain't cheap anymore. So that was I might catch one or two in glance. Check out this old uh, Chevrolet truck here, guys. It's about a 60, what, 62? A little bit later. What model truck is that, guys? Anyway, that's yeah, later than a 62, I think. Probably about a 60. Seven, maybe I'm not even well, 67. This is the front of it. Yeah, it might be. That's not being a 70. No, that's a 70, probably two or something. Let's see the front of it. Anyway, <laughs> it might be a lot newer than I thought. Maybe no 69. Whoops, dropping the phone. I gotta get around this. The car carrier here. Mash buttons, fuck them, get them out of the car carrier. Why was he in the fast <laughs> Anyway, this vehicle's packed the gills. You can saw this jump behind me. It's packed. It is packed. I couldn't squeeze a bed, uh, a piece of paper in there, probably. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not collecting Social Security. Not yet. I might file for it. If I do, see, I'll be filing without, you know, the full. Social Security, I probably won't have to. I'll be, if I, but the problem is it takes months to get it, but you file for it. And, you know, full retirement, it, for 
but my age is 67. If you're born after 1960, so I was three months too late to be able to retire at 65 with Social Security. 67 is the age, and I'm 63. So I'll get less than full. And that's all our time I'm gonna have, guys. That and YouTube. YouTube is, you know, you know tiny little stuff, but it beats, I guess, it beats a stick in the eye, guys. It beats a stick in the eye. So, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. Anyway, guys, I'm, you know, I've got to consolidate. i got to sell stuff. i got to sell out. That's why I was, I figured this was coming. That's why I started getting uh, Arizona prepared. I knew I was probably going to wind up there because at least that place is paid for. One Alabama. That's not, I got the place in Arizona for the sweetheart deal, guys. I'm happy with that. Could, but if I do, I can't apply for Social Security. I mean, uh, I think I can. And they told me if, for my job if I'd be able to do that. So I got to get home before I can do anything. I got to get back to Alabama before I can do anything at all. I got bills to pay. The past, I've got. I said my bills been held, so I suppose I've been home well over a week ago, almost two weeks, a week and a half at least. I was to get home before the end of, you know, I was planning to be home within a week of the end of the year. But I've been stuck in Planet Houston. Couldn't escape from Planet Houston until now, today. See, I thought I had a guy working on my vehicle yesterday, maybe today. I wasn't getting any messages, so I said, I am not sticking around. When I got this rental car, they told me, they said, uh, you've got to return it to the airport here in Houston. I asked them whether nope, you got to return it here. But when I called the company, I found out that I could return it to the airport in Huntsville. Huntsville International Airport. But I've got to pay a mileage fee uh, for driving it. And some people did, told me to get a U-Haul. And I actually looked into that. But the U-Haul mileage, look, U-Haul's got the local rates. That 1995 little small truck, that's a, for local only. They quoted me $1,100. $1,100 plus to get the gas and everything else. So, yeah, the U-Haul was not a good deal. But I was able to get everything that mattered in this rental car. And this is going to be a lot cheaper. I was able to pack this thing to the gills. It took me a little time to get it packed where I could get stuff in it. But I'm set. I'm on my way home. Good Lord willing, I'll get there in the wee hours of the morning. Uh, but I'm going to have to drink a lot of coffee. So I hope I find a lot of truck stops that are open. And I'm not going to sleep in them. I'm not going you know, to sleep in this van. Man, this uh, car just isn't too practical. And i got to be in the vehicle. I'm not leaving it with all the stuff i got in my tools, my lugs. That's the downside of traveling heavy prepper. <laughs> You gotta stick with your stuff or be able to take the stuff out with you when you go into a hotel room, whatever you do, but you gotta keep an eye on heavy prepping items. Like nugs. Kibbles for your nugs. Nug feed. <laughs> nug feed. Have you fed your nug today? Have you hugged your nug today? <laughs> Happiness is a warm nug. Alright my friends. Ah! I to kind of scoot myself around, get kind of sore from staying on the spot too long. Guys? I have escaped from Planet Houston. <laughs> it's a long way home. Still got a long way to go to near the star system called Tony, Alabama. The outskirts and a little bit of Huntsville. <sighs> it's a moon. Tony, Alabama. It's a moon of Huntsville, Alabama. Just <laughs> like spring was a moon of Houston. Alright, so I'll hopefully be in an orbit around Hunts Patch in the near sometime in the wee hours. This car turned in tomorrow. Whoa! Sorry, guys. And thank you, Super Chatters. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Mods. I know you've been busy. I'm not going to keep up the chat to see what's being cooked. I want to thank uh, everybody for being here. Share my videos. Give me the thumbs up. I can use all those that y'all can muster. We got 138 rooms on 122 thumbs up. So if you're not hit it, please hit it on your way out. 
And with all that, I'm going to say again, thank you. God bless. Stay prepared. Eyes wide open and head on a swivel. Right now, it's more than ever. With that, I'm going to say, Greg out.